Thank you, Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the House. It's always so annoying when somebody gets everybody quiet before you get up and talk, because I really don't care whether y'all listen or not. I'm going to say it, and I'll just say it loud enough for everybody to hear me, because this is Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. We are pleased, and, and it just, it's just interesting how fate has it that one of our own, Joe Danning, whose father was born in the Philippines, happened to be on the speaker's podium. Uh, and as we were fortunate enough to have several business people, Asian American business people, joining us today, and the first elected Asian American city councilwoman, Oddity Bustles, who's behind me. And from a long history of hard work, from working in Hawaii for the mines in California, uh, the Asian American population has continued to be hardworking, true Americans who have done everything they can to make sure that this country was better than the way that it was founded. And people like Oddity, who's probably the hardest working city councilwoman and the reason why our new mayor is here today. And mayor, if you'd stand up and if all the Asian American business people would stand up, please. Because America and South Carolina is better for our differences. America and South Carolina are certainly better because we have people here that don't all look the same, that don't all think the same, but are all striving towards the same goal. And Councilwoman Oddity Bustles is certainly in that category, along with the people that she brought with us. So please join me in welcoming and thanking those, uh, those people that come from someplace else that may not look like everybody else, but have certainly done their part in making this country and this state great. Please join me in welcoming Oddity Bustles and all of those Asian Americans to the State House today. So May marks the beginning of Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. It is a time to celebrate and recognize the diversity of our country. Um, and for us, it's the time to recognize the diversity of the South, particularly South Carolina. There's over 87,000 um, Asian Americans in South Carolina and counting. And as someone who made history uh, as the first South Asian woman on city council in Columbia, it was especially important for me to ensure that this was a platform that we recognize the growing diversity in Columbia. And so over the next month, I'm very excited to share uh, a lot more about the diversity even within the Asian American community, uh, you know, what are some of the customs and traditions that they bring with them here, and really the history of how Asian Americans came to this country, worked really hard to build a life, to achieve the American dream, and share their stories with all of us. So very, very excited, and today was a special day because we uh, were recognized by the State House, and there was a proclamation made um, in honor of Asian American and Pacific Islander History Month. And it was very special to have local advocates and business owners with me, as well as the mayor and other elected officials to help recognize and commemorate this really important occasion.